Okay, students, now let us understand in detail all the three indicators of PQLI. To start with, the very first one, it is life expectancy rate. Now, what is this life expectancy all about? Life expectancy refers to average expectations of life at birth. That is, average number of years a person is expected to live. Now, we'll understand this concept with one small example. Now, as you can see, this individual, life expectancy for a particular person depends upon several variables. Now, which are those variable students? Number one, lifestyle. Students, you should have proper lifestyle, a basic exercised lifestyle. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, I'll see. No, there should be a proper lifestyle. Second, it is proper access to healthcare. That is better medical facilities. Third one, it is diet. Having proper diet and not eating the roadside junk food students. Number four, it is financial status. You should possess minimum amount to live, a minimum standard of living students. And it is habits. No, 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 no. Not getting influence towards this habit, students. Stop this wrong habits. And you know what? When all these factors are used together correctly, your life expectancy has to improve. And according to 2011 census, life expectancy was 66.8 years in India. Students, please remember this. It was 66.8 years. To continue, which is my second indicator? It is infant mortality rate. Now, what is this infant mortality? It refers to number of children dying before reaching one year of age. They are unable to survive even they reach their one year of age students. And this is calculated out of every thousand children. High infant mortality rate is harmful students. Yes, it is very much harmful for what? Economic development. For example, if we want to reduce this infant mortality play, yeah, infant mortality rate, it can take place by reducing the drug intake of women during pregnancy very important second by maintaining healthy weight during pregnancy and third and the most important by increasing the literacy rate among women you know one man is educated and individual is educated but a woman is educated entire family is educated so increase the literacy rate among women students and when all these factors and methods are properly followed, infant mortality rate has to fall. And data, it is 47 per thousand in India according to 2011 census. Please remember, IMR is 47 per thousand. To continue with the third indicator, it is literacy rate. Now, what is this literacy rate, students? Anyone about the age of seven years? Students, remember, it is seven years who can read and write in any language with an ability to understand is considered as literate. Literacy rate is measured in percentage. Remember the students, for example, Literacy rate can be increased by providing proper school facilities to all children of this country. Second, by retaining students till they complete secondary education. You know, students, many students or many children leave their education once they are done with primary. No, it is not important. We have to retain till they complete their secondary education. And third, by increasing expenditures towards this education sector students. And you know what? Again, when all these particular methods are properly executed, literacy rate has to increase. What is the data, students? The literacy rate in India is 74%. Again, remember this data. It is 74%. 
So, to conclude physical quality of life index divided into three indicators. Number one, come on students, it is life expectancy index which should increase. Remember, it should increase. And you know what? If the value is one, it is worst performance. That worst will mean minimum value of life expectancy. And 100, which is best, 100 will mean maximum value of life expectancy. Second one, which was my infant mortality rate, which should exactly, it should fall. And again, I will say, if it is one, that is worst, worst would mean maximum value of infant mortality and best would mean minimum value of infant mortality. Which was my third indicator, students? It was literacy index which should increase. And again, I want to say one thing. Worst would mean minimum value of literacy and best would mean maximum value of literacy. So to conclude, students, Morris D. Morris has given the formula to obtain PQLI, which is PQLI is equal to life expectancy plus infant mortality rate plus literacy rate divided by 3. So this was all about indicators of PQLI.